Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Andrew Foster, and today, once again, I'm talking about problems in the trans community. <laughs> Right now, I am in my girlfriend's apartment, hence the change of scenery. That's also why there's a picture of me on the wall. I didn't just put a picture of myself up on my own wall. <laughs> my girlfriend's at work right now, so she's not gonna be joining us for this video, but maybe she'll be in the next one. I received a notification from YouTube today that someone had responded to a comment that I had made on a video about trans trenders. I want to read you this comment and hopefully you'll understand why I felt I had to make an entire video about this one comment. So this video was talking about transgenders, and my original comment, I'm not gonna say who it was targeted at, but I just said, insert toxically masculine trans guy's name here, is trash. Um, because this video was critiquing a certain YouTuber, and I agreed with what this video was saying, and that comment was just me agreeing with them. So, a few hours ago, I got a comment from a young trans guy that said, insert transphobic trans guy's name here, has dysphoria, acts like the gender he identifies as, insert genderqueer person's name here, doesn't have dysphoria, and doesn't feel comfortable dressing and being masculine. Right, so, there's a lot to unpack here. I won't be including this person's name in this video just because they're very young and ignorant and I don't want them to get hate because of something they said when they were a young teen. But I do want to address this because this comment, it didn't piss me off, but it made me sort of scared for the future of our community. Because these toxically masculine trans guys are really, really having an impact, especially on young trans people and young queer people. And not only that, they are becoming such a loud voice in the community, and once these young people who are being influenced come to the age where they are taking over the fight for trans rights, and they are taking over this community and becoming the face and the voice of the community, if all they have to fight for trans rights is hate for trans people, we're not gonna get very far. <laughs> I think that as time goes on and trans rights, at least in America, are making progress and we see more and more representation for trans people, it becomes less and less critical for trans people who have a lot of privilege, whether it's because they're binary or white or rich. It's less critical and necessary for them to be woke or educated or open-minded because the problems and the prejudice and the discrimination doesn't really affect them. The problem with presenting a single way to transition, the problem with projecting your experience on everyone in the community is you are exiling a lot of people who are going to be learning from you. It just sort of grinds my gears that young people are learning this is how to be trans because that's not a thing. <laughs> I've heard people say to guys who are trans, if you paint your nails, if you wear girls' clothes, if you keep your long hair, then you're not really trans or you're not trans enough. And I think a lot of times when it comes from other trans people, that is just a manifestation of internalized transphobia and it breaks my heart that so many people today feel like they need to manifest that. I don't want to come off as not understanding the appeal of being hypermasculine, of being toxically masculine, because I do. I totally understand why you would want to overcompensate your masculinity or even why you would want to manifest purely masculine energy to appear like you're enough of a man or you're really trans. For a lot of people, they feel so insecure in themselves that projecting that insecurity onto others helps them feel like 
they're doing a better job, maybe, of being trans. The problem with that is we don't do that to cis people, you know? No one goes up to a cis guy who's painting his nails and says, well, you must not be a man, you must be a trans woman because you painted your nails. That's not how society functions. And by treating trans men like they're on this level that they almost have to be more masculine than cis men makes absolutely no sense. Mainly because gender identity and gender expression are two different things, but also because you're holding trans men to a different standard than cisgender men. And by doing that, you're saying that trans men and cis men are so different that they have to be held to a different standard. And so I think in a way, by invalidating another trans person's identity, you are invalidating every trans experience, including your own. I don't want to curse on my channel, but I really feel like I need to, to express how upset I am. If you don't believe that someone is trans or you don't like the way that they're presenting their authenticity, you don't have to say anything and you don't have to watch their videos. You don't have to look at their content. Until net neutrality comes and screws us all over, you can look at whatever content you want and that can be the most closed-minded content that you can find on the internet. Do not invalidate someone else's identity because of something that's going on inside of you. Instead, I urge every single person that's watching this video, whether you're cis, trans, a guy, a girl, something in between, neither of those things, I urge you to try to expand your mind to the idea that everyone's experience is unique and no two people are going to live their life the same way or do the same things or like the same things or present the same way and that is okay if every single man in this country acted the exact same way we would have a big problem on our hands everyone being robots and being exactly the same and presenting the same way and wearing the same clothes and doing the same things is very problematic and does not make for a creative or good society. If you disagree with me on this or any of my videos, please, please, please give me a comment. I don't care if there's hate in it. I'd rather you give it to me than someone else on the internet. So if you have anything to say, whether you agree or disagree, please leave me a comment. I love reading them and I love sharing my opinions and views from your comments. If you liked this video, consider giving it a like, and if there's anyone in your life that you think can benefit from anything that I said today, please share this video with them. If you wanna see more from me in the future, then subscribe. Stay sweet.